Meghan Markle attended a school in Dagenham to speak about equality on International Women's Day, to the surprise of many of the students. On Friday's surprise visit, her final solo engagement as a royal, Meghan urged her young audience to speak up for what is right. She was given a standing ovation for her talk, which marked International Women's Day. The Duchess of Sussex delivered her first speech since MEGXIT. No matter how small you might feel, no matter what color you are, no matter what gender you are, you have a voice and you certainly have the right to speak up for what is right. She added, I encourage and empower each of you to really stand in your truth, to stand for what is right. The Duchess told 700 adoring pupils, being in Dagenham is incredibly profound. Geraldine and the other women had the strength to really stand up for something that needed to be done. Meghan also urged the boys at Robert Clack School in Dagenham, East London, to value, appreciate and protect the women in their lives. She told them, you have your mothers, sisters, girlfriends in your life. Protect them. Make sure they are feeling valued and safe. And let's all just rally together to make International Women's Day something that's not just on Sunday but frankly feels like every day of the year. The Duchess told youngsters, when we thought about what I wanted to do for International Women's Day this year, for me it was incredibly important to be with the women of our future. And that is all of you young women here as well as you young men who play a very large part in this. She then decided to go off the cuff and asked for for a brave young man in this room to talk about the importance of the day. The hall erupted in cheers as head boy Akar Okoy, 16, stepped onto the stage and kissed Megan on the cheek, before saying into the microphone, she really is beautiful, in it. The laughing duchess jokingly wagged her finger at him and crossed her arms. I had to speak the truth there, said Acker. Elegant in a blazer by MEEM, shoes by Jennifer Shamandi and carrying a bag by London-based Korean designer Regina Pio, the Duchess continued, so I just encourage and empower each of you to really stand in your truth, to stand for what is right. To continue to respect each other. You young men, to continue to really value and appreciate the women in your lives. And also set the example for some men who are not seeing it that same way. She then posed with the whole school, holding their arms parallel and bent at the elbow to represent the International Women's Day symbol. Meghan's tub-thumping speech about how you can be whatever you want to be might seem schmaltzy to some but will be remembered forever by these teenagers. Expert Phil Dampier, who wrote a book on Harry and Meghan, said, this is a clear signal that she felt she was standing up for herself when she quit the royal family. Meghan joined Harry at the Mountbatten Festival of Music at the Royal Albert Hall on Saturday night. They were greeted warmly by members of the Royal Marines when they arrived at the South Kensington venue. Meghan looked stunning in flowing red gown by Safiya, with Harry in his Captain General of the Royal Marines uniform. The Duchess was wearing head-to-toe red, and paired her stunning dress with a satin red clutch by Manolo and glamorous, dangly jeweled Simone Roca earrings not to mention a chic pair of red heels by Aquazura. The festival sees the Royal Marines showcase their incredible musicianship and pageantry and features a wide range of musical styles, including music from the big screen and superb solo items. There will also be traditional marches and overtures that have proved such a hit with audiences over the years, with all proceeds going to the Royal Marines charity and CLSC sergeant. This is set to be Prince Harry's last event as Captain General of the Royal Marines, and possibly his swan song in military dress, who even wrote a foreword for tonight's event. A segment of the Prince's foreword read, The Mountbatten Festival of Music continues to be a very special event that brings together the world-class musicians, composers and conductors off mass bands of Her Majesty's Royal Marines in an iconic venue. This year, it will mark the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War and the 80th anniversary of the foreign mention of Britain's commandos. I can guarantee you are in for a real treat. This festival is also an opportunity to lift morale and inspire people of all ages, as well as raise much-needed awareness and funds for the Royal Marines charity. 
This organization does such a fantastic job of supporting our core family and it is a cause which will always be very close to my heart. I have been lucky to see firsthand the incredible impact the charity has on serving and veteran Marines, as well as their families. Whether providing welfare grants, contributions towards social activities or helping wounded personnel recover and find new employment opportunities, the charity is there every step of the way. Before the performance started, John Suckett, who was comparing the evening, took to the stage to say how honored we are to have the Duke, as Captain General of the Royal Marines, and the Duchess, in attendance. The announcement brought more cheers and applause from the audience. The evening is likely to be one of mixed emotions for Harry, who served in the military for ten years and has pledged his unwavering support to the armed forces as he steps down from royal duties later this month. The Duke and Duchess will carry out their final engagement before stepping down as working royals on Monday, when they join the Queen and the rest of the family at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey.